It is utter chaos over here. The mobs are fighting each other like... Hey everyone, it's Raphael from XX Raphael Productions, and I am back with part 3 of the Super TNT Mod Showcase. Alright, so let's go ahead and bring up my list. So, for today's video, which is part 3, which I will leave a link to the first two parts down in the video description, I, I um, added the ICBM mod for um, part 2. So, for this video, I'll be adding the Space Age mod along with it. Alright, so. It's exactly as it sounds, so we'll be going to space, going to Mars, going to the moon, and we'll be blowing up stuff over there as well. So, of course though, even though we have all these other mods installed, the central focus of the video will be the Super TNT mod, and I also reloaded the city, so I was able to get a backup of the original map, because, you know, in part 2, the end of the video, I destroyed the entire city with a black hole TNT, so... Yeah, um, like I was saying though, I did not expect that to be so destructive, so for this video, we will be saving that particular TNT for last, alright? So, let's go ahead and I guess do our first one, which is the Atomic Mob Swarm, so let's go ahead and activate that. And I guess we'll see what it's gonna do. Alright, so that, that spawned a whole bunch of mobs. <laughs> And they are all fighting each other. It's a travesty down there. Uh, um, we go ahead and let me go ahead and see. Okay, I have my difficulty is normal. Maybe I should put my volume down. I'm sorry. It's I don't want it to overtake my um. You know, I don't want it to like overwhelm my uh, voice. So yeah, there we go. So that's the first um, mod we'll be. I'm mean, not the first mod. The first TNT that we'll be um using. And as you can see, it is utter chaos over here. The mobs are fighting each other like like it's crazy right now. Um. Uh. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um. Let's go ahead and do a massive TNT next. All right. So we'll be going straight into it. If you have already seen the first two parts, you will know that I've reviewed this TNT already. So let's get right to the point, and we'll blow up some of these mobs along with it. I'm gonna blow it up right now. And <laughs> that was nice. All right. Uh. Looks like a bunch of the wither is, this wither is um, low on health, so what I'm gonna do is give myself a certain diamond sword that is enchanted. So I'm gonna do that right now, to level 30,000. So here as you can see, I have my diamond sword with sharpness 30,000. I'm gonna go and kill these withers right now. So, I'm gonna do that, and I can also one-shot this enderman here. So yeah, uh, holy, there's a whole bunch of withers still, so I'm gonna go ahead and end all of them in one hit. So yeah, this is this sword will be insanely useful if we have too much mobs and we need to kill them all quickly, alright? So, there we go, we're exterminating the wither, um, so one last one over here. So yeah, that's one other, that's the first TNT we'll be doing in the video, oh, there's a guest over here as well. Let's go ahead and turn this place into an utter living nightmare, so... Let's go ahead and get ourselves, let's see, what other TNT can we do? Uh, maybe do a cluster TNT next? Um, let's go ahead and... Let's go over here, where it's a, little, a bit more peaceful, because around there is like the center of the city, and it is a nightmare right now. So yeah, I will be going to the moon first, later in the video, so... The first um, half of the video will be focused on destroying the city, just, you know, just get straight to the point. Um, let's go ahead and activate this. I want to see what this one actually, wait, is this a cluster TNT? Yeah, it should spawn some TNTs like that, there we go. It's exactly what I'm looking for. Alright, so my game is lagging, I hate when it does that. Alright, well, yeah, that's a pretty good start so far, we have done cost utter chaos in the city already. And like I said before, this is a backup, so I or I, if I want to do a part 4, I already have the original copy of the map, so it doesn't really matter how much I destroy. But like I was saying though, we will save the black hole TNT for last. And by black hole TNT, I mean this one. The the one that says, this one is so big that it puts a TNT to end all TNTs to shame. <laughs> like the, the mod maker likes to be a bit goofy, so yeah. But I will do a red matter explosive. Now, this is not part of the Super TNT mod, rather it is from the ICBM mod, like I was saying earlier. So let's put this, let's see, uh over here, this might be a good place to put it, I'm gonna go and activate that, 
and it's going to do some, a black hole. Now, like I said before, this is not the same black hole TNT, so at least this one won't destroy too much. Oh, the withers are being attracted and being killed. I like that. <laughs> All right, so he's. Let me. I have an idea actually. Let me do the mob swarm while this thing is enabled. Um. Oh no 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 no. That's a bad idea. Wait. Let me go ahead and put it somewhere over here. Oh, I should wait for this to deactivate first. That was a mistake. Uh. Go get an antimatter explosive. Okay. So yeah. I did forget to mention that is the way to end the um, red matter explosive. Just activate an antimatter TNT to do that. All right. Um, let's do an atomic mob swarm, and then we will activate that black hole a second time. Uh, uh or, or red matter explosive. All right. Get ready for it. There we go. So I will I will activate it right here, and let's see the glorious sight. <laughs> Yo, that is awesome, look at that. All the withers and all the other mobs are being sucked in the black hole. Yo, that is crazy. I like that, I like the side of that. See, I got that idea afterwards, I actually am glad I got to do that. So, like I said before, I can make this thing actually bigger, so... There we go, I can, I can increase the size of this, and you can see it kind of like enlarged a little bit. That will make it a lot, um harder for it to, you know, dissipate. Alright, anyway, so, let's go ahead and, where should we go next? Uh, but yeah, that is an absolute disaster, and this, this poor city, like, whoever, like, I know I'm just the only player here, but if you're living in the city, you basically want to get out of here. It's like, I guess, Cloverfield, but ten times worse. <laughs> Alright, uh, where should we go, where should we go, uh, let's see, so, we've, been, we've focused most of the destruction there and there, so I guess if we can find a peaceful area, wait, let me go ahead and set the time to day. Um, we can find a peaceful area so we can actually start flying to the moon. So yeah, from this point on, we will be doing the um, explosives somewhere in either moon, the moon first or the or Mars. So yeah, I, I did say, I think I said earlier that I'll go to the moon first. So yeah, that's where we'll go. Um. Let's go ahead and use the um, Space Age mod for this. Let me go ahead and go fly far away from the um, destruction. There we go. Somewhere around here should be good. Um, let's go ahead and get ourselves... Not this one. Uh, there we go. So, Space Age mod and... We'll get the um, Pioneer and... So, this will actually spawn a rocket. So, I'm going to go ahead and right-click right now. There we go. So... Uh, don't forget, I, I have to set this thing to night time, actually, um, because I need to use a telescope, and I'll explain, I'll, you'll see what I mean when I do it. So, small telescope, space travel card, and here we can actually re- this is the, um, place, it's basically like, it will tell a rocket where to go, so, let's set that to the moon, and we will we'll say the destination is set to the moon, and let me go ahead just to, um, just in advance, let's get ourselves... Wait, what was it called again? Oh, yeah, space travel card. So get ourselves another one, and this will be the one that goes to Mars. So record data. And you can see that we have uh, two space travel cards with two very different destinations. All right. So that is all good. So what we're going to do. So let's get into the rocket, and I guess... Oops, I'm sorry. We're going to blast off. All right, I'll get my gunpowder... Where should I put it? Okay, gunpowder here. I think I need about, like, I would say about, like, three at least. And I'm gonna right-click this and put that in. So, you can tell that the um, fuel is ready if there is no more gunpowder, like, you know, going down. So right now, it seems to be slowing down. And there we go, it seems to have stopped, so that means we are ready to take off. Uh, go ahead and sit over here. So, like I said before, we're going to the moon first, so I'm going to put that in, in space travel card, and I'm actually going to, I'm going to press launch. There we go, so now, you can see that our rocket is taking off, as exactly as we want. So yeah, this should be, alright, goodbye Earth, oh, that's going to update my terrain, alright. So yeah, you can see we are in orbit now, and, um, looks, looks pretty. I guess it looks beautiful, actually. Uh, I, I don't like, though, it's kind of glitchy, though, if I look around, but you can at least get the idea of what's outside our rocket. Um, 
go back to, okay. Yeah, I know I have hair grind skin. Yeah, I don't mention it. Um, yeah, that's very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and see what you're traveling to, to the moon. Just click travel. So again, we'll be stuck in this. Let's go ahead and fast forward to when we actually arrive at the moon. All right. All right. So here we are. Um, I did fast forward just to not you know bore the viewers. Here we are now. We are above the moon. So all we gotta do is actually just right click again and press land. All right. So. It's beautiful. It's kind of like you know we're in the on Apollo missions. Um, wait for that to. So like I'm saying, it's not really too visible that the rocket is moving down, but I promise you, it is moving down. All right, and but in a couple more seconds, we will be able to see how the moon will look like. So okay, lunar midlands. And now you can see that the terrain is actually starting to form. So it looks like we'll be crash landing. So brace for impact. So we can we can we can mess with a whole bunch of TNT over here, especially since there's no um, place to really worry about. There we go. Uh, I crash landed. So let's go ahead and get out the rocket. All right. Uh, there we go. Uh, it's a moon cave. Hmm. Okay. There we go. You can see Earth. You can see the sun. And if we go ahead and jump, let me go ahead and show it to you. See how I'm moving very slowly. I go ahead and jump. You can see that the gravity is clearly very different from Earth. So, um, in this mod though, I remember reading that there was some kind of like moon base that you could find. So, hoping that I'm lucky enough to find it somehow in this barren wasteland. So, I'm going to go ahead and move around for now. But like I'm saying though, even if we don't find it, it doesn't really matter because we, we will just, you know, blow up the rest of this anyway with TNT. So, yeah, um... Let me go ahead. I don't think I see it so anywhere. Wait, is this the edge of the? Oh yeah, that is the edge, guy, folks. Oh, but no, it's not. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just my Minecraft updating the chunks. I thought that was the edge. Um, yeah, it looks like it's kind of like Earth, where you know you'll just generate a whole bunch of different chunks. I do remember though there was a certain mod where there was indeed an edge like that. So you know, can you blame me for that? Anyway, so yeah. Uh. Wait, is that a... No, no, that's not the base. Uh, I know, I know, it's a little bit of a snore fest. Uh, oh yeah, I'm just saying, I'll give it like 10 more seconds, and if I can't find the base, then I'll just go right to the TNT, alright? So, uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think we're, um, we'll be that easy to find. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right to, um, back to the TNT. Let's go ahead and do a massive TNT first. I don't want to, like, you know, cost the game to lag too much, so... I'll just go in and start small and get bigger later on. Alright, well, no, not, not that one. It's a little bit boring. Let's do mass destruction. Alright, this should be a better one. Alright, so let's go ahead and blow this place up. So, this can this will take a few seconds because my game is definitely going to lag. Okay, there we go. So, it took me about... But I think it was like 12 seconds, and you can see that we have created such a large crater. And obviously, since the gravity is very um different, you can see that these blocks are falling way too slow. Um, well, not way too slow, but they're falling slower than it would be on Earth, obviously. And there are actually some aliens over here. These are um not native to Earth, obviously. Look at that. I don't I don't see any other mob that looks like this in vanilla Minecraft. So there we go. We have some. Oh, wait, there's, there's red, is it redstone? No, that's not redstone, um, obviously it won't be redstone, wait, let me see if this is redstone, if I right click that, it should light up, okay, yeah, yeah, so there's redstone, and this is some different one, I don't know what that is, and there's iron aura, there's diamonds here too in the moon, that's interesting, okay, well, now that we've made a crater, let's get the atomic mob swarm back, um, let me go in and put it over here, and, you know, prepare for this crater to be a disaster again. Uh, go ahead and light that up. Now, let's see, and... Oh, wait. No light? Okay, yeah, it's working. Yes! That's exactly what I want. Um, I'm going to fly away, because I don't want it to lag too much. Let me put my volume down a bit more. There we go, okay. So, let's see if I can do a red map. Oh, wait, no, they're all dead, because... You know, this they don't have like a spacesuit, so obviously they can't breathe over here. Well, look at that. The withers are actually um, losing the health gradually. 
But we can we can um, fast forward that by uh, actually doing. Let me get the red matter explosive again. What should I replace this? Time? Okay, so let's go over here, and I want this to suck in all these mobs. You know, like we did earlier in the city. That's a beautiful, beautiful sight. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna light that up. Yeah. Wait, did it work? Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Beauty. <laughs> Watch all these mobs being attracted towards the black hole. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm actually glad the ICBM mod doesn't conflict with any other mods because I know there are some t there are some incidents where the game will crash if I do something like this. But I'm glad that it's good enough because you know that'd be not that'd be no fun for the video. Um, yeah, it's sucking in all these mobs. You know, they're, they're all gonna die anyway because they can't breathe in the, on the moon. The moon, but. This will just speed up the process. I don't even have to use my diamond sword for this. And I, like I was saying before, it's sharpness 30,000, and I can easily just one-shot all these mobs without any problem. Now, I want to see if the if I can make like an end portal in the moon. I want to see how that will work. Uh, that's actually it's a very interesting way to do it. So let me go ahead and put that in here. Now, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying we're not going to go to the... Well, I guess we can go to the end if we have time, but... I want to see if it will activate while on a different, um, like, like you know, we're not on Earth, so we're on the asteroid, no, an asteroid, no, a satellite, the moon, natural satellite. Oh, it's working! Huh. I like that. So, if I were to travel to the end right now, let me, let me try it, actually. Oh, wait, no, I'm, I'll, we'll save that for later. I don't want to, like, because I think I did try this one time. Wait, did I? Yeah, I did try this one time, actually. Now, I know I said it's my first time, but no, I remember now. I tried it one time, and... Since the gravity like is different here, it was very awkward to move around. So I'm gonna save that for later. All right. So yeah, this black hole is still activated, and you can see all the blocks are moving around. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and um, let's see where should I go? Where should I go? Yeah. So I know there are some things where I don't, I might not recall, but it's because I tried this mod like very like it was a long time ago, so I don't really recall some of the. Uh, stuff until like they came back to me just now though so let me uh wait can i no i can't okay so let's see what other tnt you can use let's do uh we, we did a mob swarm that's easy do a tiny island what what i think this will spawn an island like i think we did this in part one but let's just see what it would do in the moon yeah yep yeah, it's spawning like you know those sky block um servers so it's like you can make a cobblestone generator, you can cut you can cut the trees and expand your island. You know, like the skyblock servers, those are like some classic servers. Okay, well, that's it for the moon so far. Now, let's go ahead and cause more destruction. We'll, we'll, we'll soon be heading to Mars anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go Trump TNT. Let me try that one. Yeah. No, I guess we'll wait and find out. It's actually, I haven't tried this TNT yet, so... This is the video where we will find out what this one does. Oh, never, never mind. Uh, 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 for some reason, I was thinking it spawned like a, you know, a Trump face or something. Like, whatever. Um, what is this chest though? Oh wait, those are my ladder and an iron shawl. Oh, we don't need that. Okay, well, I guess this could be useful. I want if I wanted to make an arena. I guess, I guess that would be useful. So, not too bad, um, that's a Trump TNT. Uh, let's do Forest. I, I think I saw it earlier. Forest TNT. And I know, in, on the moon, that's a bit weird, but... Why not, you know? Let's just try it out. Oops. Forest TNT. Is it gonna spawn in far? Oh, I see a tree over here. Is that a tree? Yeah, that's leaves. Yeah. Wait, is that all it does? <laughs> well, that was disappointing. Well, well, whatever. I'll just go ahead and get not. Wait, not that's the wrong one. Let's get a different TNT first. Uh, uh, what should we do? What should we do? Flat TNT, cheesy, really crappy TNT. Uh, wait, let's do that. That is it. Christmas one. Uh, wait, I'll just make sure I'm not lagging. We're gonna test. Okay, so. Just making sure, cause you know it's a it's a good way to tell if you're lagging or, or not. So yeah, uh, is it Christmas TNT? Wait, let me blow that up. 
I want to see what this one particularly does. It is currently not Christmas right now. Oh, okay, I see what it's trying to do. So, I'm going to try this on December 25 of, on 2021. That'll be, um, <laughs> that'll be pretty nice. So, okay, well, I guess it's all we're going to do in the moon. Um, yeah, it costs um, some good, good amount of destruction, but that's not our primary focus. So, let's go ahead and go to Mars. Wait, rocket? Wait, big farms now. Um, it's a pre-made spacecraft. Uh, let's see which one we're going to... Okay, so... We picked the purple um, pioneer earlier. Let's go ahead and try another one. Let me Luna shuttle. What is this one? So I have mostly tried the purple one a lot. So there we go. So let's go ahead and get right back inside now. So obviously we think we'll need fuel to light this to light, um just to start this. So get gunpowder. So just a, that's a precaution I usually take. Usually four of these. All right, four stacks of these. So, let's go ahead and put that right in. Alright, so we're going to be heading into onto Mars, alright? So wait for this to finish. Okay, that, that's good enough. I put my space travel card inside. It's the same concept as all the other rockets uh, launch. Okay, so here we go. We are, we're launching out of the moon. And uh, let's go to fast forward to Mars. All right, so let's go ahead and land with. I'm sorry, we seem to have made it to Mars. You can see the um, the planet down there. So we should be landing in a couple seconds. Okay, here we go. So you'll say we have made the achievement, Martian planes, and you can also see that we are gonna crash land again. Watch. Yep, there we go. Our rocket is now destroyed, which means we'll have to make get a new one, which is pretty easy. All right. So, welcome to Mars. And I don't see, I can see the sun, I don't see, wait, is that, what is that over there? I don't see anything else. Uh, let's see what else we can destroy. Um, guess it's mo most of the same stuff. Let me go get obsidian. And I want to see what the gravity is like. Alright, it's pretty slow as well. Now, the moon has much weaker gravity. As you can see that I'm, I'm still falling, like, slower than I would do on Earth, but faster than how I did on the moon, alright? So... Not the, not the Christmas one. I, the obsidian, I want to see if I can do a portal to the nether while in a different planet, alright? So I'm gonna go ahead and let's, let's do that and... Oh, that, that did not work. Oof. Okay. Nope, forget it then. Let's go ahead and do some other TNT we haven't done yet. What's nostalgia TNT? That's one thing I'm just wondering about. Um, I go ahead and go over here and try. Let me go and set the time to morning. I don't want it to be too dark yet. Oh, what the... Now playing Never Forget. So Halo 3, a great game I remember. What is this? Energy Energy Sword. Oh, I... Wait, what mod is this in? That's pretty cool, actually. I didn't know... Um, it looks, looks like a very interesting design for a sword. Uh, 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 do I need this one? No. When in, when in main hand, 1.6 attack. You see, my no match to my diamond sword, which is 30,000 sharpness. Huh? Whatever, I don't need that sword. Let's go ahead and try out another one, which is... Uh, tiny... Uh, we, did, we, did, we did it already. What's a forest TNT? Oh, yeah, we did this in the moon, on the moon, but I want to see how it will look like in Mars. Alright. I hope it doesn't just spawn another tree. That was boring earlier. There we go, that is that is much better, that is much better. See, I don't know what went wrong earlier, but it's probably because we did it on the moon, but maybe if we do it on Mars or on Earth, it will be much different. So yeah, here we go, that is a uh, different forest over here. And I guess it's like if you want to do a Mars survival series, well, obviously that will be a, a bit weird because you have to have all these like spacesuits and, every, and everything else like pre-configured, but yeah. I guess that's the um, forest TNT at its full potential. Now, earlier's show wasn't like a good example. This is a better example. All right, let's go and get another one. Let's see what else we got. Um, with the island and the island TNT, we did that already. Ooh, arrow TNT. Is it gonna shoot like an arrow or something? Uh, now, uh, well, after this, we'll go back to destruction. All right. Let's see what this would do. This will do first. Oh, okay. That is pretty cool. Like. If I wanted to, like, I guess, defend myself, that's a nice way to do it. 
Alright, that's a nice one. Uh, TNT. So I can do... What's a cheesy TNT? Is it gonna spot a whole bunch of, like, cheese or something? Let me try that out. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I break the jukebox. I don't need any of that um, random stuff. Oh, wow, that's actually a nice one, too. Look at that. So... What's what I can do? Now? Okay, so since these are all, it's a bunch of forests. Why don't I do the fire now? That should that should do, do be good. Um, fire TNT. It might spawn a whole bunch of like fires around. All right, let me try that. Actually, that might be a good way to spice this forest up a little bit. Oh, my! I know my game's gonna lag, but it's worth. It'll be worth it. Oh, my game is lagging. Okay, there we go. So that is the fire TNT. So. Now let's go ahead and get to the destructive one. So we'll do mass destruction, and then we'll return to Earth, all right? So we, we, we did most of these in the moon, so we don't have to like go through it in Mars, because I'm sure the concept will remain the same. But now that I've activated the TNT, let's go ahead and fly out of here just to not lag too much. Yeah, that, it, it can take a bit. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, it can take a bit sometimes for the chunks to update, but now look, I can see all the caves down there thanks to the minecraft glitch and yeah i guess it's more of the same stuff so we can now go back to earth let's go ahead and do that right now i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and skip straight to the part all right so okay here we go home sweet home let's go ahead and land and we should descend back to earth very soon all right here we go we're back Let's go ahead and see which area of the city we will crash land at. Oh wait, no, we're doing it in the ocean, okay. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. That means that, um, you won't have to destroy any other- Oh no, we land in the beach, never mind. I thought- I actually thought it was gonna crash in the ocean for a minute. Uh, oh, look at that. I actually destroyed the rocket very- a lot. Wait, this space travel card? Yeah, that's the one that's still going to Mars. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, it's the only one there, so... Okay, let's go ahead and go down. Yeah, that that rocket is destroyed. That poor thing stood no chance. Oh well. So seems like I'm in an uncharted island. I don't see where's the city at though. I, I guess I might need to go around. If I can't find it, I'm just gonna do slash kill right there, just so I can spawn back to where I was at. Uh, do slash kill, whatever. All right, respawn. And now here we go. I am back at the hotel where. This is where I spawned. And now you can see the wither is still alive. Then, on the black hole is still active. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's gone now. So, yeah. So, that now that, um, we... Now, I, I also promised you that I would save the black hole TNT for last. So, now that we are near the end of the video, let's go ahead and do that, alright? So, black hole TNT. Okay, so this explosion does take a while, so... I'm gonna go and skip through that, all right? Let's go, um... Okay, so now it's gonna... I'm gonna go fast forward to when it reaches a hundred percent. So yeah, this did take me quite a bit, so... That is the rest of the city now destroyed again. Um, let me go ahead and fly up so you can see. Yeah, so it's just bedrock everywhere now, so... Thank you very much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video where we actually went to the moon, we went to Mars, and did our explosives there. So, I, I will leave a link to all three mods in the description below, so you guys can try them out. And this is for version 1.12.2, I should update my Minecraft version as well, but yeah, we'll save that for a future video. Um, like I said earlier, thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for part 4, and Raphael out, I will see you soon.